Hello everyone, I am starting my tomato seeds today. Last year I started them on my birthday, on March 14th. But this year it was a bit snowy and rainy on that day and I just couldn't find the motivation to do it. So I'm doing it today on the weekend, the weekend after my birthday. And I have also decided that I'm going to plant all my tomato seeds instead of only the ones for the seedling sale, as I had previously said. I'm reusing some of these cells here. I have washed most of them already. I'm just gonna need this much here. And I like them because they're a little bit deeper and bigger. I want to start them on the bigger ones. I don't wanna keep up potting them all the time. Once the seeds sprout, I might separate them first just so they have more space. And then I'll let them grow here until they're in a bit of a good size and transplant them into a bigger container later, maybe in a few weeks from now, instead of having to do it twice, which is what I did last year. So I'm using the same pot in soil. It's a compost-based potting mix. So I prefer to start my seeds with potting soil than seed starting mix, because potting soil has a bit more extra nutrients in there. And I'm very bad at fertilizing. I tend to forget to fertilize my seedlings. And just to be safer, I like to start with potting mix. Some potting mixes can have a bit of a coarser medium. They come with bark and some twigs. You can pick that out if you like, but I am not, I'm just going to use this. this. Oh. oh, my camera is okay. I do not be moist in my soil before I start either. I prefer to just put the soil straight here and then I will put water in the bottom of the tray and let the tray get bottom water. I've been doing this for the whole season last year and has been working well for me. I did this this year with my other seedlings too. It's fine with me, but just know that usually the recommendation is that you pre-moisten the potting soil before filling your cells. If you're new to garden and not comfortable with starting seeds yet, please pre-moisten them and then put them on. You'll see the potting mix. Once you get more confidence and see what works for you, then you can choose what method works for you best. I have here the selection that did the best in my garden and on top of that I am going to plant the Super Sweet 100 which was not going to grow for me this year. It's just a regular red cherry tomato but some of you wanted to buy this. It's a very popular one that's very prolific so I'm gonna start some of them too and if they don't sell I'll put them in the garden. Now I'm super nervous about the seedling sale because I'm using this nice potting soil and some of my special seeds for it and I'm scared that no one's going to show up but I'm doing this anyway even being a little bit afraid I hope that I get some people that come and actually get the seedlings I'm also going to do the cherry falls I'm planning to grow this on my green stock the sun gold this is the one people requested the most and then I'm doing this sweet aperitif tomato this is a kind of special seeds and I'm gonna do this for myself maybe a couple extra in case you guys are interested and then I'm doing the rosella tomato and the black strawberry I also had some requests for the black strawberry after you guys watched my garden tours last year it's a bit windy now so I'm just gonna show you guys real quick the varieties then I'm gonna go ahead and put a little time lapse and do the tomatoes all at once and I'm doing the ananas noir and the black beauty and I'm also doing the Berkeley tie-dye green Torsborn terracotta and the yellow brandy wine. Actually, some people ask me to do striped German. Because I'm a little afraid that people don't co won't come to pick it up, I might actually just do the striped German. Sorry about that, yes. I'm not gonna do the yellow brandy wine. Just in case I have leftover, then I'll put this in my garden. I'm also doing Cherokee Purple. This was one of my favorites in 2021, and also a few of you guys requested. And now I'm doing the Amish paste, the New Yorker tomato, and the Coastal Luto Genovese. Now this one I'm not gonna sell, I'm doing this for myself because I collected seeds from my own plant. The tomato that performed the best in my garden right there in that corner. It could have been cross pollinated with other things, so I don't feel good to sell something that I don't know is gonna be true to type, but I'm growing this for myself because I wanna see what's gonna come up. I'm gonna start by making all the labels first and then sowing them all at once and watering the bottom. Oh, I actually forgot to talk about one of them, which is this purple heart tomato that is also a semi-dwarf variety, the terminate, that I'm going to grow in my green stock. I'm going to start the seeds now, and it's a little windy, so I'm going to show you how I do one, and then I'm going to speed up the video and keep 
go in here fast so I don't get seeds all over. I'm going to start with this sun gold tomato that fell in water. Thankfully, this from Botanic Interest comes with a little plastic inside, so the seeds are okay in here, but I'm probably gonna go ahead and sow all of them, however many I have here. I guess I don't have as many as I thought. Only have five seeds in here. So that's all that I'm gonna have available for the seedling sale and four seeds. I just lost one. No. Okay, we're gonna do sun golds, two. Maybe I'll start something else on this other spot over here. I just place them right here, right on top, and I slightly cover them. I don't put them super close together because in case they both terminate, I like to separate those. So just cover like this, press slightly. It's gonna go and do all of them now and show you guys how to water later. Everything is planted. I usually will lay out the seeds and then cover them, but because it's so windy, I was covering as I was placing them so the wind wouldn't blow them all over the place. But now what I do, after I have them all in here, I will water through the bottom because I don't want to misplace the seeds. Water from the top. I put quite a good amount of water in here because the soil is completely dry, so it will absorb quite well. So about this much, maybe an inch of water. I place the seeds back in there and they're gonna get watered to the bottom. But now I'm going to take this inside and mist with a bit of a water in a spray bottle. I usually will let them stay up here a little bit longer just to absorb this water. But I really want to go in because of this wind. So I'll carry this inside with me and place on my little table on the side and mist with some water on the top. And then talk about where this is going to leave until it's time to come outside. I'm gonna use this little spray bottle here and I'm going to just mist the top of all of the soil. I did this with all the seeds that I started this year and last year and it worked well for me. Okay, now that's all nice and misted. I'm also going to place a humidity dome on top of them to help with germination. I got this one from Joni's. In fact, all this, this whole setup is from Johnny's. All the cells and the bottom plates are from Johnny's as well. And the potting soil. So today I'm also going to be using this heat mat. I think I got this from Amazon. I can link in the description box below too. Tomatoes like the soil really warm, so it's definitely handy to use a heat mat if you're starting your seeds in a little bit of a cooler basement like I am. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in together with my grow lights and place the tomatoes on top of it until they sprout. The heat mat doesn't need to be turned on to just plug in and it should work, at least that's how this one works for me here. Hopefully those tomatoes are going to sprout within about a week. After they sprout, they kind of grow pretty fast. This is actually the shorter set up. I usually start my seedlings on this shelf over here, but once I put them in these deeper cells and with this humidity dome, it doesn't fit up here. But it's gonna be okay because I did my lettuce in the second rack and everything was fine. So let's see how it goes. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time.